right, hi everyone. Welcome to our podcast today. My name is Steve, and uh, I've got B Rad over here with us, and uh, we got our special guest today, and uh, her name is Miss Tanya. It's just Tanya. Oh. Miss Tanya. Miss Tanya. I, I don't know. I don't know where to go with Miss that. Miss Tanya. Miss Tanya. It's Tanya. Yeah, well, I knew a girl named Vanessa. Okay, no, not really. Uh, so we're gonna have a podcast today. This is our second official one. Uh, I got B Rad here, Miss Tanya, with us. Sorry, <laughs> just Tanya with us. Just and, Tanya. Right. Yeah, and 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 so like we're, you can just call me Tanya. Like we won't say Mister Brad. Tanya. Steven. <laughs> Tanya. Stop. Oh well, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> So, Brad, hi. How, you doing? how was your How was your Christmas? It was great. I went to work. Really? Yeah. What'd you work on? Um, I worked on sitting in a chair for a while. Really? But then uh, had some machines crash, and we had to actually work. Mm. So crash yeah. machines, a dust collector, and that sounds exciting. So what that means, I rode an elevator for seven floors, and then I got out and walked <laughs> across the thing, and then up another. Five sets of flight, five flights of stairs with my tools and did some welding. <laughs> All oh right. God. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Don't skip leg day. Right. Never skip leg day. <laughs> Follow your dreams so you don't end up at a place like that. That's right. Oh my it's <laughs> always, my, always my reminder. <laughs> and, and, and Tanya, how was your Christmas? It was good. So exciting <laughs> and thrilling. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, my Christmas, I didn't do much. I basically stayed at home with my son. Uh, well, no, no, I'm sorry. We went to his, I went to his mother's uh, apartment, stayed over there uh, for a couple hours. But let's, okay, here's the topic then. Let's talk about uh, generational gaps because this is what actually threw me off. So I went to stay at, I didn't stay, but I went over for Christmas dinner. And, um, you know, my son, he wasn't, um, let me put it this way, he's, he got in trouble. So he didn't really get the most presents this year. Hey, don't be with me. He didn't get the most presents this year, but I did make sure that I got him a present that is uh, sentimental. And the fact is, um, because he's a video gamer, you know, he's consistently on the games. And it's like, son, you need to get out and do something with your life. Do something, you know, uh, outdoorsy. So what I did, I got a him a, uh, a pair of ba- – I got a baseball glove and a baseball. And I was like, you know – nostalgia Let, let's go just throw a ball out in the park so we ate christmas dinner and then he got his present and uh you know he was actually really excited to do that he's like yeah let's go let's go i'm like okay he i've never seen him move so fast he like <laughs> put his shoes on put his hoodie on like okay hold on let's go so we went down the street and we were just tossing the ball back and forth and i was like wow you know it's like i'm so glad he was excited to do that sort of thing because kids don't do that these days and i was like wow because literally, you know, he's just all day long, and it's like, oh my god, okay, let's go do something else, you know. That's so, so sweet. Yeah, and uh, just take somebody to take yeah. him out. Yep, just Show a him. good old good pastime, job. you know. And uh, the 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 um, simple thing is that it's like I feel like kids might be crippled, in, you know, in the he because he can be socially awkward, and I get that. And it's like, but what am I doing as a parent to, you know, address the issue? Right. What about you, uh, Tanya? You have a you have a daughter. Yes, correct. I have a nine year old daughter. Mm-hmm. She got an iPad for Christmas. <laughs> oh my god! What the uh, going against the grain here? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm listening to your story. I'm like, that's so sweet. I did like the opposite. I'm yeah. like, here you go. Here's a screen. Yeah, here's, yeah. A, dist- here's a distraction for you. Yeah, you know, like I bet she me. loved it though. Yeah, she loved it. Like mom of the century. Yeah. Well, yeah. I definitely. It was time because mm. she we've been we've been sharing my iPad oh, mm-hmm. yeah. and she really wants to be like a YouTuber and like follow her but dream. See, that's the cool thing yeah. though, because she's not just using it to like just zone out. She's actually right. wanting to she's develop doing, the skills. Doing yeah. research. Yeah. Yeah. She, Watching. Yeah. She's like really artistic and she loves to create art on the iPad. I wonder where she gets it from. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's just a just so you all know, Tanya isn't a, an exceptional artist Aww. and she is really Thank good. You. And let me put it this way. I mean, I'm good, but Tanya is really good. So Aww. Thank I just want to put that out there. If uh, yeah. you need to hire an artist, you know, just hit her up. Uh, we'll throw a tagline in or something. Maybe I don't. I don't freaking know. I have, <laughs> yeah. I have an Instagram and I have a TikTok. Talk to the camera. Yep. Tell them over there. Plug it. <laughs> Everyone in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Share the information. I'll just send it to Brad and you can link it. You can <laughs> link it in the video. Right here. All right, check the link okay. in the description right here. Boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. Right, 
put it on my face. That's my uh, Instagram and my TikTok. You're you talking about generational gap. I want to know how old are you? I'm 31. Right on. I'll be 32 oh, in February. Brad, Brad, it. Brad, you never ask a woman that. Like we do here. <laughs> well, He's you, like, we do here. You, you started it. But you yeah. and me, you're about the same age. So I just wanted to know Tanya! where she's at. <laughs> Wait, so, okay. So I know you're 39. Wow. Just throw me out there like that. Okay. So the you're, bus. <sighs> how old are you, Brad? 43. 43. Okay. 30, 39, 43. We got to get a little, little clicker, but, yeah. but like the gap between us, this is we 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 fit into our little generation here, but yeah. the gap that we address with the, so to speak, uh, our younger adults who are hiding behind the camera right now, Miss <laughs> Ava and uh, her boyfriend who will not be named. <laughs> <laughs> he's just in the doorway. Yeah, he's just in the doorway so. somewhere. You know. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like. And that. he got here just in time. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did. No, he's always late. <laughs> but just in case you didn't get that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so yeah so brad how many kids do you have you two have two and what are their ages 12 and nine okay so yeah so we're, Aww, yeah I, my, my son he's what 16 now i think i don't freaking know man he was born and uh, he just exists now in my life. Like, <laughs> i lose track of the years at this point but yeah. Uh, yeah but they're they're in that range and it's like do you do you limit your kids' usage on the uh, phones and TVs and stuff? No, we all kind of sit around and watch them at the same time. <laughs> a lot. But we go do other things. I mean, like when it when you see your kids on the the phone or screen time, I guess we want to call it. Do they um like do they look at things to develop their skills, or is it just like mindless dribble, like you know TikTok? Maybe a little of both, but my daughter crochets and does some oh, things. Oh, see, so there you go. Aww. She watches people do that. Yeah, see, like, some so ideas. they've got hobbies. That's yeah. cool. They, they do a good mix of my both. My son doesn't have a hobby. It scares Video me. Video games are, is kind of a hobby. No. And, and it does take skill. Not everybody can... And, play well, video games. A lot of his conversations with me, uh, like, they automatically start up with, so I got, like, you know, 10,000 <laughs> points on da da da. I'm like, what? I mean, I used to play games too when I was a kid, but it's like, man, sometimes you just got to go outside and, you know, like I learned how to make napalm. Let me put it that way. Oh, you God. Know, that's what oh, I did as a kid. God. Okay. You know, I burned some things down. Now, oh, no. I'm not encouraging this by any means. I'm not trying to tell y'all to go out and do this, but it's like, you know, I, you got to get creative, people. Yeah, like, gotta have entertainment does not exist solely on a screen. Have like, as as itch, people watch us now, an itch to go out and do something. Yeah. Like, we want to encourage. I just had it. And it really, it picked me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just, I feel like they haven't hit that age yet where they are aware of the things that they're actually physically able to do. Like, yeah. I mean, cause they just feel limited. You know, there's a lot that kids can do and they're just, they don't know it yet. I was like, me, look, it's <laughs> like when I was a kid, okay. I was like, <laughs> you see well, like a million well, years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you Pre -internet. know, internet. I saw we saw Evil Knievel on TV for the first time, you know, and he had this ramp and he took a motorcycle and just ramped off, you know, like woo, I was like I could do that, you know. So, so is that what the difference was? Well, I think we had so. Like you know, TV watching people do stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and I you want to do it, you know. That's when they started saying, "Please, kids, don't try this at home." Before they started saying that, I tried it at home. So yeah. I built a ramp, you know, me and my buddies, and, we, <laughs> and I had them have little my little red huffy ramped off this thing, <laughs> but it was a skate ramp, so it like went up like this, <laughs> and so I did like this whole backflip, and I landed directly on my tailbone. Mm -hmm. Couldn't walk straight oh. for about a week, and I'm like, well, I learned my lesson there. <laughs> you know, oh didn't God. do that again. Evil Stevel, evil cause evil cause evil. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's how that's, he started out too. He yeah. just kept doing it. I mean, but now it's like kids see it like, oh, they'd rather just look at someone do it. And they're like, ha, ah, and that's it. See, like, for, for me, like growing up, I have a twin brother. So hmm. I would just watch him do fail. something dangerous and fail at it. And then I would learn my lesson for him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'll just step back and watch. I'll yeah. let you mess up first. That was me. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's how my yeah. sister did me too. Like, <laughs> she's like, if she ever had to like do something, she's like, well, I don't know if my, our parents will approve of this. Hey, Steve, will you want to do it? Like, yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> and then next thing you know, here comes the belt. Oh, man. <laughs> da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so that happened, yeah, quite often. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see here. Um, so let's, uh, should, we, should we bring Ava on? Does she want to speak? Do you feel like speaking, Ava? She got her nails did. She did get her nails did. I love them. Mm. <laughs> 
You wouldn't understand. You darn right. You I would wouldn't never understand, understand the feeling understand. of having a fresh set. You would never understand. I don't that. want a fresh set. You know why? Because I build things. I do construction. I don't need no long nails. Just get in my way and poke my eyeballs out. <laughs> who needs that stuff? <laughs> Let's see. We do. All right. Well, who wants to rotate out? You want to? Who wants to rotate? Let's give Ava her her screen. I'll time. rotate out. Huh? You want to rotate out? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsor. Have you ever felt lost and lonely in the in the midst of uh, not knowing what to do? We recommend you be rad because you know you need to get good at something. Be rad or be sad. Being sad sucks. Hi y'all. How you doing, Ava? Good to see you with your with your fancy nails and stuff. Thanks. I'm doing great. Oh, just great. How was your Christmas? <laughs> um, technically, I haven't had like my Christmas dinner and stuff yet. Oh, that's right. You did. Y'all po- postponed it actually for, and actually she came up here in order to do the podcast with us today. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's awesome. How's your brother doing? Um, I mean, the same. The same? Well, this is, okay. So since we're on the subject of kids and screen time, right? Tell me about your brother. He's a lot like your son. He's, he's a lot like video my son. Games. He's, yeah. he's, uh, he's unique. Yeah. Unique snowflake. Uh, Ava's brother is, um, I've noticed that, you know, he's a cool kid. You know, nothing, nothing wrong with the kid. He's just, it's like he's in video game world. He does that thing where, like, he'll walk up and he'll be like, you know, wave over his, like the, the the NPC walk or whatever. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, that's that's something to see. That's impressive. You know, it's like how how do you, how do you feel? With, uh, okay, let me ask you this then. So you being the older sibling, right? And uh, you see your brother developing the way he is. How do you feel about his future? Um. <laughs> Does it concern you? Slightly, not. In the sense that, like, he is creative and he is, like, um, like he has interests in things that he does plan to do in the future. And he, like... Is like hobbies? Of, yeah. Well, well, like, he loves dinosaurs and he wants to be a paleontologist. Oh, okay. See, and now that's a good thing to yeah. hear. Okay. He studies that stuff, like, a lot. Like, he could tell you in and out of every single dinosaur that existed. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Um, so, But I think my biggest concern is he's not very good with people. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, because he's... <laughs> well, he won't have to be if he's just out brushing off dinosaur bones. True. Well, no, so. you got to learn to socialize because, you know, <laughs> dinosaurs talk back these days. Oh, yeah. Last time I checked. <laughs> yeah, like you. You have to go present. <laughs> oh, she hit me with a zinger. Wow. She's oh. not wrong. She's not. <laughs> Look, wait a minute, old man. <laughs> but it's like, so the good thing is, like, you know, he does have some, like, how old is he? Uh, he's 11. 11. So he has like some idea of what he wants to do in the future, which is good. But, you know, his social skills, I've, you know, I've noticed that when he plays with the, the other kids and stuff, he's kind of like the little outcast one. Did you did you ever feel like you were the outcast growing up? Um, I mean, I never really had many friends growing up, but I just don't like people, you know? I, I could, <laughs> okay. I, I don't see that because you're very sociable. Yeah. It's probably like, you, you just don't like everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's not I that mean, you don't like people. I can be social, but I mean, like, I'm not gonna name drop, but that one coworker here that we oh. all obviously dislike. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I didn't say dislike. Mm-hmm, I just, say you dislike. know, there's a um, there's He's certain special. characteristics. He, Bless yeah. his heart. There you go. There you go. Bless but, his heart. At least you don't have to put up with me that much. I only show up once in a while. We're not talking. We're not about talking. You. About you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you in on it later. I don't no give worries. anybody a chance. But I don't like to bash people. You know, it's just like it's not a matter of like I don't want to. Sometimes when it's like, you know, you feel that that person is unique in their own right and it's like, okay, but nothing you say or do will change them from who they are. And it's like, okay, so you kind of just accept it. And I'm like, all right, you with you. And it's like, you don't, I mean, I have no, no angst against the person, but it's like, you're not the kind of person I'd hang out with on a, on a day off. You know what I mean? I'll I'll (laughs) tell you what I found with coworkers. What's that? When you don't like one, you keep that one around. Because when they disappear, you find the next one you didn't like, which was one you used to like. Really? Yes. It's a weird <laughs> phenomenon. That's true. They always get where they replace so, each other. Yeah, it's better the devil you know. You keep them when yeah. you can see them. Keep your enemies close. Yeah. And I keep my underwear closer. So It's my if, underwear. <laughs> if no one nothing, else is. <laughs> those people are good for that. That's true. That's true. I mean, if anything, it's like a good bug repellent. You know? Yeah. It just keeps all the <laughs> other ones away from you. <laughs> it's like, I'm cool with that. Yeah. So- do you feel like any of your characteristics have like played into your brother's life growing up? Um, 
I'm going to say probably, like, uh, I spent a lot of time, like, alone with my brother, or, like, you know, while my parents are working and all that, so. Mm-hmm. Do y'all ever had, like, one of those bonding moments where you're just, like, I mean, do you, you get along with your brother, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. I mean, sometimes he's an asshole, but, you know, yeah. well, that's how siblings are. But, like, I try to do things, because I know he likes video games and stuff, but, like, I'm not a huge video game person, but, like, we'll play Minecraft together and, like, actually build something, like, we started this giant castle. We haven't finished it yet because mm-hmm. like that's more creative and you're actually doing something instead of just like. I do like that about Minecraft. The fact it's like Legos though on digital like I format. <laughs> and I love Legos growing up because yeah, that's still, that's the reason too. why I love. Yeah. It's like you love to build I play stuff. with Legos while I watch music videos. Yeah. That's my whole problem. I still play with Me Legos. <laughs> you know, like Legos are awesome. That's probably one of the greatest inventions of ever of all time. I made sure my kids have some. Yeah, yeah, they beat Lincoln Logs. So yeah. just so you know. Oh, and speaking of beating, um, I beat Ava at Clue the other day. And, I uh, literally had the answer first. It was just your turn. No, first. no, no, no. Yeah, like, no, I had the answer back when you were still. She's like, a bit sour. Miss Scarlet about is it Miss Scarlet? I knew it was a Miss Scarlet. You know why? Because I had Miss Scarlet. But I knew it was. Mustard she changed the, the rules up, right? It's like this is <laughs> no, like this is Clue. That is the rules. I grew up playing, and it's literally in the instructions. And once again, I'm older than you, so therefore they changed the rules. <laughs> since you know, like the rules were different. I'm like, this isn't how you play Clue. That's how. Everyone plays clue. And it's like, and I still beat Those it. Those are the rules my mom taught me, who's Boom. older than you. So how about you shut it? Your mom's wrong. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Like, are you look, insulting my mom? I'm just saying she's wrong. My mom is the best person ever. The fact of the shut matter it. is doesn't matter what the rules are. I'm just better than you. I beat, you're you're I, not better I, than I, me. I noticed the rules late. on those games are changing. Though. They are. Yeah. And like yeah. Uno and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Uno games, they, those are different. Yep. They have all kinds of different stuff. And we have like the new I versions play of the games. I play rules. Oh, we'll see. That, that sounds just gangsta. No, like like where you stack the cards <laughs> and like you have to keep drawing until you get a card to play instead of just oh, no, no, drawing no, 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 one. No, no, no. no that's, that's lame. That's not, that's not fun. That is fun. Have you ever played a game called Phase 10? Yes, mm-hmm. I have. Okay. Like, see, I, I never heard about that. My ex-wife, she actually uh, told, like, the, when we first met, like, years ago, but uh, that was, like, the first family game that they played, and I, I was like, okay, let's play Phase 10. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> it took... Like, so recently when I moved out here, the, um, there was some event, like, but we all had to, you know, got the family, like, you know, my son, my ex, and then we hung out and played Phase 10. And I finally beat them. <laughs> I fi- It wow. took years. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to own this and just love it. And I was like, yes. And I was like, in your face, in your face, in your face. And I didn't care at that point. I was just so happy. <laughs> the first time I played that, I had no idea what I was doing. My yeah. mom used to work at an old people place, like assisted living. And I would go in and volunteer and I'd play games like bingo or face 10 with all the old ladies. <laughs> Elderly, <laughs> elderly ladies. <laughs> All the old ladies, like, hey, how you doing, there, sweetie? Can they you, were so sweet, you know. You, can you and hold one of my... them taught me how to play Phase Ten, and I was so bad at it. Phase Ten, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had no it, idea. I mean, it's, it's a unique game. I like it. It was pretty cool, but it's like it took me that many years just to get the win. I'm like, I'll take the W. Yes, <laughs> I was happy with it. Yeah, sometimes it's luck of the draw. Yeah, whether you win I mean, on that one. Well, no, there, there's there's a skill to it, and there I finally is. figured out some of the loopholes. I'm she like, can okay, get totally screwed every time. Yeah, and I was by like, the, by the deal. Yeah, it, 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 it helped the fact that you know my my son was terrible at it. So you know, but my ex, she's really good at it because she's been playing for like all her life too. Yeah, the secret in that game is don't hold twelves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or oh, man. tens through twelves. Yeah, those are bad. Get rid of those. Um, so let's see. So moving forward. Cause I do have to get back to work here soon. I'm not going to argue with that, Ugh. but I got to make that money. Got to get that paycheck. Ching. Right. Cha-ching. So anything, uh, so anything you would like to add Ava about yourself? Um, I'm pretty cool. What, what's your thing that you want to be rad at? Yeah. What do you want to, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, I answered this last time you interviewed me and I want to be a teacher. Oh, that's right. That's right. She did. Yeah. Right we on. didn't, we didn't have that video officially because this is, you know, I'll let Brad do the editing. He's good with that sort of thing. It's working just fine. So that was an, an unofficial recording, but we're going to work on that. We're going to get this going better because we're going to have more cameras. We've got a lot more things coming here, folks. We're going to make this channel awesome. Um, we got New Year's Eve coming up, and so we're going to – I want to actually record some of the stuff we've got going on here where we work. And I'm not going to release that information just yet, but coming up, we're going to try and do something pretty big. And, uh Yeah. I think we're going to be very, very happy with the outcome of this. But as far as just getting started right now, this is a uh, good start. Smile for the camera. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and conclude this one. Um, anything else you want to add, Brad? No. Nothing? Add, okay. Brad. All right. That so rhymes. 
Huh? Add Brad? Yeah. Is there anything else Brad wants to add? I want to add something. What's that? You should have never won that game of Clue. (laughs) Sore loser. I'm not sore loser. (laughs) She's been so bitter about it. I am not bitter. Mm. I just know I would have won. But you... Just think you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm cool. I already know this. No, I was like, you're literally like, I don't not. Say it. Like, I'm you're cool. not cool I'm at cool. all. I'm cool with myself. You think you're cool, but like it's behind your back, we all talk about how lame you are. <laughs> well, I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> don't bother me. <laughs> so just so y'all know, it's it's it, if people talk badly about you, get over it. It's not like I would rather hang out with people that, you know, are cool with me. If they're than, mad at you, they don't talk about you at all. Yeah. I was like, you know, so you got that. I was like, that just means y'all are focused on me more, anyways. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and um, be prepared for things we've got coming in the future. We're gonna be doing some positive things in this place. We're gonna try and get some positivity for the young adults. You know, we've we've we me and Brad have been working on this channel, getting it going, and uh, I'm happy with the outcome so far, and it's gonna get better. So, anything you want to add, Brad? No thanks. <laughs> I'm good. We need a tagline. So for everyone out there, be rad or be sad, but we recommend you be rad because, you know, you need to get good at something. Yeah. Develop your skills. Being sad sucks. Yeah, exactly. Develop your skills. Make people happy. Spread positivity out there and do everything you can to just make yourself the best that you can be. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Be bad or be dead. All right. That's it. Wait, put your head Yeah, that's why they did that. Does it work? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it recording? Yeah. You record? Oh man, he got me. No. <laughs> hey, check this out. That's red. That means it's recording. So that's voice, though. That means it red. is recording. That's yeah. what I was saying. Like the video is, is recording.